At 198 centimetres, 106 kilograms, and with a 202 centimetre arm span, Lockie Anderson isn't your normal Australian teenager. In less than two years, he's managed to take himself from the couch to the court and is now part of the Western Region Academy of Sport for Orange. What we try to do is to get athletes from the country um, and take them to another level. So if they're now playing for their representative team in, say, Bathurst, we want them to move on to represent country and then New South Wales and hopefully Australia. The Academy is one of 11 across the state in regional and metropolitan areas established to provide support to the region's talented athletes and to attempt to eliminate the disadvantages rural athletes face in comparison to their city counterparts. There's less opportunity, I suppose, but that's where people like Rest come in handy because the, the opportunities that they bring to children like Lachlan out here in the Central West are world class. Just the strength and conditioning coaches and it was the RAS that organised people like Gannon Baker to come. Um, they've had people like uh, Empire who are past Olympic Games players and they can pass on their knowledge to the kids, which is really good. Despite never being the sporty kid at school, Lockie's talents were recognised before he even knew of them himself. Well, Nancy picked me up about 18 months ago because my brother was down here for his lawn bowls camp and he dropped a hint that he had a younger brother which was taller than him. It was the Where's Duncan program at RAS that first recognised Lockie's potential. The three-phase course looks for athletes of a specific build who will eventually be able to dunk the ball, with a long-term goal of identifying the potential to become an elite basketball player. And so we measured Lockie up and gave him a little bit of footwork and he joined our program having never played the game of basketball. I think he'd played any sport much. And now, uh, 18 months later, he can dunk the ball and he's starting to make representative teams and he's turning into a great basketballer. I play as a centre and as a centre it's my role to keep the opposition out of the key and to get rebounds and rebounds where if someone takes a shot it doesn't go in and it may deflect off the, ba off the backboard or off the ring. In April Lockie received the Charles Sturt University Athlete of the Month award due to his outstanding improvement in skill development and testing. Combined with his excellent attendance and assertive leadership the recognition meant that his mother couldn't have been prouder. Oh, well, he's a beautiful boy, on and off the court. He's a fair player and he's always been a lovely boy. He looks after all of his friends at school and always lacked a little bit in confidence until Nancy picked him up and put him into the basketball squad and he seems to have just gone ahead in leaps and bounds and confidence and schoolwork. Schoolwork's really picked up since he's had the confidence to play basketball. And he's such a nice young man as well. He's so you could see him grow, not just in stature, but also his personality and his confidence and uh, it's a really a pleasure to have him as part of our academy. With the improvements that Lockie has made within such a short period of time, it is easy to see that he has a bright future ahead of him, both on and off the court. Oh, the sky's his limit, really. He uh, has gone from being a non-player. Um, he's moved on to representing Western Region now, and uh, hopefully he can go on and perhaps one day become a country player or even maybe get a gig with the New South Wales team. To play in the NBA would be my dream and I'd be stoked if any team picked me, but personally I'd like to be picked by Chicago Bulls or Miami Heat. RAS is constantly seeking to improve its operations and players through the development program it offers to the community. This ongoing support from both RAS and his family will ensure that Lockie Anderson has everything he needs to fulfil his dreams. Isabel Robertson for the Afternoon Report.